Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. It's been a little bit since I've managed to record this, though I still have a bunch that I need to upload, but uh, we'll ignore that. Uh, so we're still making our way through Mount Pyre, which is, I think it's almost done. I think we have about two more fours. Uh, and we're still messing around trying to get uh, Heracross to the proper level. Uh, it's going to take a little bit, but it shouldn't take too, too long. Um... The only problem is that, like, all these ghosts are kind of, I wouldn't say irritating, but overall just kind of against when you would want to use Heracross, uh, because I don't want to teach a rock tomb. And also, uh, we haven't given a chance to Heracross, really, but this guy's a fighter, so please, oh, this guy is the one with the Hariyama. I remember this because, uh, when I was first playing through Emerald, I, I first played through Ruby a few times, and then I got Emerald way later. But when I was first playing through Emerald, I was using uh, three Pokemon at the time, and all of them were weak to fighting, by the way. Uh, I wasn't using my starter. Come on, can we not Whirlwind? Oh, great. What am I going to do with this? Poison. Poison. But I was weak to fighting, and at the time... Uh, I just ended up getting wrecked by this vital throw because Hariyama could tank pretty much everything. And that was back before I got my uh, type of style of just fighting everything. So I would get wrecked pretty easily. Because that's kind of uh, something that I kind of changed over time with when it came to turn based RPGs. One of the things I would always try and do is make my levels match. Uh, quite viciously too uh i would make sure they matched uh and i would make every challenge and then uh i realized that once i grew older and understood to be honest most of the stuff is pretty easy okay what is this monstrosity here i'm not even gonna bother with uh heracross because this person has ghosts easily plus we're gonna fight a psychic after yeah it's just better if i don't even try and just clear Mount Pyre as fast as possible here. Sableye, I'm glad because nothing would have happened here. Sableye is actually uh, something that I, I really kind of appreciate as a Pokemon. Uh, same with Spirit Tomb when it was relevant, of course. Uh, because you look at Sableye and you look at no weaknesses, which is kind of the main gimmick. Of Pokemon uh, of course you have rock paper scissor matchups in other turn-based RPGs and a bunch of other stuff like that but here the main mechanic is that the creatures you capture are super effective on other creatures and it actually amazes me that uh, they managed to make Sableye make it the worst possible Pokemon in existence it's actually very very impressive counter too bad it's a special attack, even though I'm clearly biting you, but whatevs. Um, and it's actually kind of amazing that they managed to make Sableye into literally one of the worst things in creation. Uh, at least until it's Mega Evolution. And even then, it's not the, oh, it's immune to everything now. It's, my god, it just happens to have a Mega Evolution that's really good. Um, so that's Shadow Ball. Uh, very powerful move. Huh? Yeah, I was wondering if Heracross can learn. I don't think he ever does. Uh, it's actually a physical move here, so if you have a physical user. Uh, it will actually be going on my Crobat, I believe. And I think that will be its final moveset change. Um, because I won't ever give it fly. Uh, wing attack does way more for less wait time. So yeah, Crobat will be pretty much done, but that'll come across once we actually get nothing in the grave, really. Alright, um, so we have some items to grab. I believe we need to do the bottom one. I believe the top one leaves us outside of it. Yeah, there we are. Um, get a C in sense. These are very relevant, to be honest. Uh... 
they're used for breeding and other shenanigans. They're not very useful at this time there. Like, later they do, but... And we're just going to keep falling down, hitting the floor as hard as possible. And we're finally out of Mount Pyre. We took a little bit too much time. Finally, we can switch to Heracross. Uh, poor Tentacool. Uh, we're going to be surfing on it as it's fainted. And we have Route 123 to kind of clean up. It's a very short route in comparison, I believe. No, it's a little longer. But uh, we have quite a few uh, trainers to uh, fight. Also, now that I think of it, we didn't run into that many, uh... Ooh, double battle. That's not what I want to see. And we got Rare Candy for the road. This will be useful when we, uh, head to the Elite Four, which is when I will be using this game. Okay, so we'll switch to Main Actric up there. I see a Psychic above there. But, uh, one thing I do want to note in this game, this game actually has quite a difficult post-game if you kind of are underprepared, I guess. Uh, not saying that it's very, very difficult. Not a bad... Oh. I have Swampert. I would have preferred uh, Manectric. I thought I did. But uh, the post game is actually quite... Annoying. Uh, in regards to its level curve. Now, I'm not going to have that much of a problem with it. Because I know what's in the post game. And also, my team is kind of set up in a way to abuse most of the weaknesses that is really irritating toxic that's real irritating oh well i love how Heracross is eight levels lower than swamper and is faster that's just proof how swamper is super slow but that's fine he's my he's my go-to you're gonna tank anything that isn't a grass move that will be getting one more of those. Okay, you got poisoned, which is kind of impressive. Um, there you are. I knew we have a... No, not check the tag. We have plenty of berries. Uh, that's probably one thing I haven't really used and abused in this game is that the berries you can grow pretty rapidly and pretty easily. And I could have probably not have to do anything, especially since their storage space is basically unlimited. Oh, I need my neck trick here. I'm glad to Heracross at 32. We're getting to the point where uh, we're going to be heading out towards a quite different area, I guess. And I need Heracross to be a certain uh, level to really be useful. Luckily, I switched to Manectric. This would have sucked for Heracross. Probably should just use Thunderbolt now that I think of it. Eh, it didn't matter. But... Uh, Heracross, I kind of need him to be a little higher. He's going to have an easy time with the wild Pokemon that we're going to be fighting. Uh, because we will be going to a Magma, Magma hideout. Magmum. But we'll be going there and uh, exploring what's available. Which there's uh, quite a few Pokemon in there that Heracross can use to level up. But at the same time, uh, there are wild Torkoals similar to the Fiery Path. Which we also have to go through again. Uh... Because I didn't ever go through the strength puzzle back there. Because I knew we would be going back near that area. And now that we have Fly, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but as like Heracross will be going through that area, you should be able to... Is it a female Heracross? No, it's a male. Okay. Alright. You? Do you have any grass type Pokemon? Alright, we got TM19, which is Sunny Day. Right? Right? Am I just thinking of something completely... No, it's Giga Drone. Why was I thinking Sunny Day? Didn't I already get Sunny Day too? What the hell? What am I thinking of? Giga Drain, 60 power, uh, very low PP, uh, becomes better in later generations. Uh, overall, it's not a bad move. Uh, we will be giving it to a team member of ours eventually. We might fight this as a double battle. I like Gardevoir here. Gardevoir is kind of a Swiss Army knife, so to say. Uh, yeah, we'll fight as a double battle. It's very rare that I will choose to be in a double battle. When there are no trainers, I let my... I watch them. <laughs> That's creepy, dude. Chill. 
But uh, as we go into the magma hideout, uh, you're going to see a lot of different uh, Pokemon in there that are all pretty much weak to fighting besides Torkoal. And that's... And Nummel, of course, but... Hey, Levitate isn't bad. Alright, Psychic this. Uh, it's only a Duskull. Shouldn't live. If it was a Dusknor, it would have been really irritating. Or Dusclops. Did I say Dusknor? God. Uh, Zengu should go down. I don't... Its defenses are 70, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're 70. Or maybe a little bit lower? Nah, 70 sounds right. We're probably going to end up taking the XP share off of Heracross pretty soon. Ooh. This is not a good, uh, good time. I guess we'll just do this. Yeah. Eh, not the best set of circumstances. Shepard's gone, so no immunities now. Horn attack won't kill, I don't think. What? <laughs> Thanks. I'll take it. Whatever. It makes life easy. Hey, level 41. We getting up there in the levels. Uh, I do want to point out that I have played Pokemon Emerald several uh, dozen times with a bunch of different team members. And uh, at one point, I was using just three Pokemon uh, to uh, at this point in the game. And they were about level 45, 47. So if you're looking at the difference it is pretty big because those levels are very important uh of course it meant that once i did catch a fourth team member which uh did take a while it was very hard to catch up so that's kind of a drawback of waiting so long nothing all right i believe there is a possibility of getting every single thing Thing in no we might miss some stuff that is an invisible item i see you don't bother hiding hey my diana it's actually very sad to see that Heracross is only five levels higher because if you just look at the rest of my team they're uh, they're like way over level for this point but it, it'll come uh slower and slower now that we have a fifth team member and we're actually relatively getting pretty close. It's probably going to take about 20 more parts, but we're getting pretty close to when we get our sixth team member, which, I mean, in comparison to the rest of the game. Uh, we'll get it before, well, we'll get it right after or before the seventh gym. Depends how I really want to do it. Hope horn attack can kill. These things have wing attack, which will murder my hair across. All right. I don't want to start a battle... Uh, now we have enough time. Want to determine how strong you'll be the test? I don't think you're going to be that good of a test. Just, just personally. Alright, how many do you have? Only three. Okay, we can finish. And a mall while. I'm sorry. And I've always thought this. But it looks like to me, Mawile looks like a huge Pokemon. Like, based on like all the other sprites you see, it feels like Mawile takes up the most space somehow. And it's just very, very weird. It's like they designed the sprite and they were like, okay, put it up to the next, the rest of them. And then they put size two instead of size one. It looks so odd. Why are you stalling? Why are you the worst Pelipper? But with this, I think we're going to be ending uh, today's part. Uh, we will be uh, back finishing up Route 123 and then getting started on the Fiery Path. We'll be uh, cleaning that up. It's only uh, like a few minutes. And then we'll be uh, going into Magma Hideout where hopefully Heracross can... Uh... Oh. Well, sorry Swampert. You don't have anything that can really kill us. But uh, we'll be heading to the Magma Hideout. Uh, if we won't be in the next part, we will be the part after. But... I don't think we have that much to really do so we should be in there next part but uh as always i hope to see you guys next time uh if you would show some support however much however much however way you really want to that would be very much appreciated to best even me your strength is marvelous so have a marvelous day and i will hope to see you guys next time as always till then